Can't you see I'm trying to film a video here? You're the star. You're the star of the show. You're the star of the show. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a surprise for you. Actually, I have two surprises for you. And it might not be much of a surprise because I've already posted it on my Instagram. But today I'm going to be showing off my new bird, my new pet, Rainbow Lorikeet. And she is a beauty. And then I also was surprised by something else. And I will show you guys that in a little bit. But let's go check out the bird right now. So we're about to go check out the new pet, Lori. There she is right there. Still don't know if it's a male or female. I believe she is a female. So let's take her out of the cage. So here she is, you guys. This is my new pet, Rainbow Lorikeet. I decided to name her Anzu, AKA Zuzu for short. And she is just a little cutie. These birds are native to Australia. And I just love the colorations. I, I walked into the pet store that day and I was looking for a, a, a severe macaw and the lady who owns the pet store or the bird shop told me about these little guys and once i saw them i just fell in love and as you can see why and she is just a sweetheart she loves being around people hi hi so i got her yesterday i i, I was at i was at lake shasta and i came home early because I knew I was going to get her. She was able to be taken home that day, so I had to come home early so I could pick her up, and now I got her. All right, so I decided to come into the reptile room because I get better lighting in here. But this is Anzu, and she is, I actually don't even know if it's a male or a female yet. I paid for her to get DNA tested, so. We'll see what she is in probably a couple weeks. I know. Hi, Anzu. She is just so pretty. For those of you who didn't know, I, I had a pet parakeet that passed away. Ah, no biting. I had a pet parakeet that passed away um, about, I want to say, probably about two, three months ago. And so I've been wanting to get a bird ever since. But I wanted to get something a little bit bigger than a parakeet, so. That's why I got the rainbow glory. I know, I know. You happy to be out of the cage, huh? You happy to be out the cage? So if you guys watched my last video, I said I had a surprise for you guys. This was that surprise. Interesting thing about these birds is that they are actually nectar eaters. So these birds do not eat any types of seeds. So they're not like your typical bird that you would get who, who you can who you can put on a seed based diet all, all these birds are gonna are gonna eat are gonna be they have their own nectar formula and that you mix together it's like a powder and then they eat just a bunch of a bunch of sugary fruits and and vegetables they actually can't eat seeds or it could actually kill them so you gotta watch out even the fruits that they eat if they ingest those seeds that are in some of the fruits that they that they can eat, uh, it can end up hurting them or, or giving them some serious medical issues. She comes with her wings clipped. So I don't think I'm gonna keep them clipped. I, I like having my birds, letting my birds be able to fly. I like my birds flighted. So I think I'm just gonna let her grow those, those flight feathers out so that she can fly around and I'm not gonna re-clip them. When I first was holding her, first started holding her and everything, she had a super, 
she, she, she would bite and that shit would hurt. If you see that beak, I don't know if you can see the beak very well, but it is a sharp beak. That beak ain't, ain't no joke for such a small bird. But now she's doing really good. She doesn't really bite as much anymore and she's doing really good. Oh yeah, for those of you who didn't know, the reason why I named her Anzu is Anzu is a Mesopotamian mythological creature. Um, it was like a giant bird that blew fire out of its mouth. And I know, kind of scary for such a pretty bird, but I liked the name, so I, I went with it. I love history and mythology, and so I just thought that was an interesting name to have for a bird. I wanted something kind of unique. And yeah, so I went with that. So I got Anzu at a bird shop in Citrus Heights. It's called Parrotopia, and they are awesome. They've been so helpful throughout this whole process. They've been so informational, been so willing to help. I, I Anybody who lives in the Sacramento area, I recommend that you go there. They are super nice people. They're building me a, a, a stand for her, to for when she's out of the cage, uh, a play stand. They're just really, really awesome people there, so I highly recommend it. Go to Paratopia if you live in the Sacramento area, you won't regret it. Hi, that's my camera, what are you doing? That's my camera, oh, she just licked the camera. <laughs> you just licked the camera. So let's go check out the cage. Let me show you guys the, the what the setup I have for her. So this is the cage. As you can see, I, I wanted to give her some extra room to kind of play and, and I didn't want to give her the minimum. So this is a pretty big cage for her. She has a lot of space to fly around, a lot of toys in there. Really like it up top. You can see she has a place where I can I can put her up top. She's got that place right there where she can kind of just hang out, even though she doesn't like it. And she's probably about to fly back to me here in a second. <laughs> she just flew on top of the camera. So now I'm gonna get into the second surprise. And this second surprise, I wasn't even expecting. This was supposed to be the only surprise. I wasn't expecting to, to, to even have a second surprise for you guys until I myself got surprised. These past couple of days, I was in Lake Shasta. My mom and my family got a houseboat, rented a houseboat, and we went out there and just had a good time on the lake. It was beautiful out there. So while I was doing that, my girlfriend couldn't come with us because she had to work and she had school that she had to go to. So I had her stay at my house and watch all my reptiles and, and feed the cat and everything. So she stayed at my house while I was gone. So when I came back home, I came back home early to pick up this little one. And I go pick her up and I bring her home and when I get home, I walk into my room and I put her in the cage and I noticed that something was off. There was an extra cage, there was a cage in my room that wasn't there before. And so in my head, I was kind of thinking like, you know, what's what's going on? Like, did, did my girlfriend, like maybe she moved one of the animals into one of these vision cages that I had got and didn't just didn't tell me and you know, she was just trying to do the right thing. And so I'm looking, I'm like, and I'm looking at, on top of it, there's a note. And in the note, my girlfriend writes that she had got me an eight month old male yellow anaconda. Guys, when I tell you I was excited, that doesn't even do it justice. I was so juiced. I had, we had been talking about it. I had been telling her how I was gonna get a yellow anaconda or a reticulated python or a berm. I wanted a huge, I wanted a huge snake. I wanted a big snake and I had been talking to her about it and I had no, no idea that she was gonna go out and do that. Uh, I was so shocked. I, at first I didn't even believe it. Like I was like, what the hell? Like, so I called her on the phone and she started laughing and she was, and she told me, yes, yeah, she got it. And it, 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 I was so surprised. So I wasn't even supposed to have that surprise for you guys. Um, 
what I do now. So you, I have a yellow anaconda and I'm gonna show you guys. That was the last thing that I was expecting when I came home. I mean, I, I was bringing home a bird and I thought that was it and I was excited enough for that. And then I come home to that and my day yesterday just could not have gotten any better. Let's go check that out and we'll go see if I can go handle it. I tried to handle it yesterday, <laughs> oh yeah. So I tried to handle it yesterday, and for those of you who don't know, yellow anacondas are pretty feisty. And so I tried to handle it yesterday, and I knew I was gonna take, like I was gonna, it was gonna strike at me, and it was gonna take some bites, it's small still. What I didn't know is that when I grabbed it, it was going to start flailing around. And so it started flailing, and I dropped it on the ground. Luckily I was able to grab it, but it was going crazy. Crazy, I was not expecting that at all. It was going crazy. So let's see if today, if I can hold it and if, it, if we have a little better experience for myself and for the snake. And yeah, but I got it. I have to show it off to you guys. I mean, I have to. It's so fucking cool. Sorry, it's so freaking cool though. Okay, so this is the vision cage that the yellow anaconda is, courtesy of my baby. Thank you very much, baby. Uh, so I got some more decorations for the cage. I just haven't put them in there yet. I just got them today actually. And we're going to take out this little feisty little guy. So I was still thinking of a name for him. I'm thinking in the back of my mind, he might be a Pac-Man. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm thinking about naming him Pac-Man. But we're gonna take him out. Yesterday he was feisty as hell. I dropped him on the ground. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. So this time I'm more prepared. Hopefully I don't drop him this time. Hopefully he's a little less feisty. But yellow anacondas and anacondas in general are known to be a little bit more feisty and a little bit more defensive, especially as babies. So the more I handle him, the less feisty he'll be when he gets older. And that's what matters is when he gets older because I do not want to be taking a bite from a 12 foot snake. I'd rather take one from, uh, you know, half a foot snake. So let's get him out right now. All right, so he's wedged underneath. Right there. Right there, so I do need to use the hook to kind of maneuver, maneuver him out. But I want to be gentle, I don't want to hurt him. Sorry, buddy. He's probably like, not this again. Dude, this dude's so strong. Oh, All right. Gosh. So this, this is a yellow anaconda. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking Pac-Man's the name. I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? I like that, and he's doing really good today. So this is Pac-Man, officially, the yellow anaconda. He is not happy. Anacondas, they got unique faces. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get them in the light. They have eyes on top of their heads because they are aquatic. And so they spend most of their time underneath the water. They love it humid. And this snake is going to get a beast. This is one of the, the largest snakes in the world. So the growth, when, I'm gonna be making update videos and you're gonna see the growth on this snake. It's gonna be pretty impressive. Males, this is a male. Males don't tend to get as big as the females do, but they still get a pretty impressive size. We're talking about a you know, 10, 11 foot snake, 12 foot snake if you're lucky. Females get anywhere up to like 15 feet. And the key with these guys is just to handle them from a young age, from this age, you wanna handle them because they are, I would say naturally defensive and you'd rather be taking bites from a snake that's this size than when they're full grown at 12 feet. I'm so excited to see this snake's growth. Just look at, like, look how beautiful these snakes are. Like, look at the pattern. They're called yellow anacondas because obviously they have that yellow tint to them. These guys are known to be a little bit more aggressive than green anacondas are. But, you know, it's all about handling. And if you handle them a lot and they, you know, you can tame them down quite a bit, quite nicely. So. We'll see how it goes. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I know Anzu did, didn't you Anzu?
stay tuned for some more videos you guys like I said like I say almost every video I got a lot more in store for you guys a lot more fun videos this is just the beginning Anzu wants you to hit that like button hit that comment section hit that subscribe button and please 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 share this video ain't that right Anzu until next time, my name's Pierce LaValle, this is Anzu, this is Pierce's Planet, and remember, it's all about the reps, baby. Peace.